de Espanol y de India produce mestizo. The canvas is a leaden sky behind them, heavy with words, gold letters inscribing an equation of blood. This plus this equals this as if a contract with nature or a museum label, ethnographic, precise. See how the father's hand beneath its crown of lace curls around his daughter's head. She's nearly fair as he is. Calidad, see it in the brooch at her collar, the lace framing her face. An infant, she is born over the servant's left shoulder, bound to him by a sling, the plain blue cloth knotted at his throat. If the father, his hand on her skull, divines, as the physiognomist does, the mysteries of her character, discursive, legible on her light flesh, in the soft curl of her hair, we cannot know it. So gentle the eye he turns toward her. The mother, glancing sideways toward him, the scarf on her head, white as his face, his powdered wig, gestures with one hand a shape like the letter C. C, she seems to say, what we have made. The servant, still a child, cranes his neck, turns his face up toward all of them. He is dark as history, origin of the word native, the weight of blood, a pale mistress on his back, heavier every year. Two, de espanol y negra produce mulatto. Still, the centuries have not dulled the sullenness of the child's expression. If there is light inside him, it does not shine through the paint that holds his face in profile, his domed forehead, eyes nearly closed beneath a heavy brow. Though inside, the boy's father stands in his cloak and hat, it's as if he's just come in or that he's leaving. We see him transient, rolling a cigarette, myopic, his eyelids drawn against the child passing before him. At the stove, the boy's mother contorts, watchful, her neck twisting on its spine, red beads yoked at her throat like a necklace of blood, her face so black she nearly disappears into the canvas, the dark wall upon which we see the words that name them. What should we make of any of this? Remove the words above their heads, put something else in place of the child, a table perhaps upon which the man might set his hat, or a dog upon which to bestow the blessing of his touch, and the story changes. The boy is a palimpsest of paint, layers of color, history rendering him that precise shade of in-between. Before this, he was nothing, blank canvas, before image or word, before a last brushstroke fixed him in his place. Three, the Espanol y Mestiza produce Castiza. How not to see in this gesture the mind of the colony. In the mother's arms, the child hinged at her womb, dark cradle of mixed blood, call it Mexico, turns toward the father, reaching to him as if back to Spain, to the promise of blood alchemy, three easy steps to purity. From a Spaniard and an Indian, a mestizo. From a mestizo and a Spaniard, a castizo. From a castizo and a Spaniard, a Spaniard. We see her here, one generation away, nearly slipping her mother's careful grip. Four, the book of castas. Call it the catalog of mixed bloods or the book of not, not Spaniard, not white, but mulatto returning backwards or hold yourself in midair and the marisca, the lobo, the chino, sambo, albino, and the no te entiendo, the I don't understand you. 
guidebook to the colony, record of each crossed birth. It is the typology of taint, of stain, blemish, sullying spot, that which can be purified, that which cannot. Canaan's black fate, how like a dirty joke it seems. What do you call that space between the dark geographies of sex? Call it the taint, as in it taint one and it taint the other. Illicit and yet naming still what is between. Between her parents, the child, mulatto returning backwards, cannot slip their hold. The triptych their bodies make, in paint, in blood, her name, written down in the book of castas, all her kind in thrall to a word. And this final poem. <coughs> Illumination. Always there is something more to say. What lingers at the edge of speech awaiting illumination. As in this second hand book full of annotations daring the margins in pencil. A light stroke as if the writer of these small replies meant not to leave them forever, meant to erase evidence of this private interaction. Here a passage underlined, there a single star on the page, as in a night sky, cloud swept and hazy, where only the brightest appears, a tiny spark. I follow its coded message, try to read in it the direction of the solitary mind that thought to pencil in a jagged arrow. It is a bolt of lightning. Where it strikes, I read the line over and over as if I might discern the little fires set, the flames of an idea licking the page, how knowledge burns. Beyond the exclamation point, its thin agreement, angle of surprise, there are questions. The word, why? So much is left untold. Between the printed words and the self-conscious,